Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me here in the Eastern Sierra today. Um, this practice is going to be focused on finding our center, calming and, and grounding or centering ourselves. So as you begin standing, you can join me now with your feet about hip to shoulder width apart. We'll just take a moment, even with the eyes open, to bring some attention in. And we're going to start that by noticing the breath. Just the natural rise and fall. And then we're gonna add a simple arm movement with that. So when you inhale, turn your palms up toward the sky and reach your arms overhead. When you exhale, you're gonna side bend to the right and you're just gonna slide your left hand, sorry, your right hand down your leg. And just bend over any amount. When you inhale, come upright and feel that central channel of your spine rising up out of your hips. And now exhale to the left. And now for reals, it's your left hand that goes down onto the side of the left leg. And just a little side bend over. Inhale, rise, both arms overhead. Palms facing one another, a big stretch up. As you exhale, open the arms apart. Lead with your chest and fold forward. Touch the ground or your shins if you have a, a hard time reaching the earth. Just release the neck and shoulders. And while the head is down, turn your attention in again. Just feel the breath moving in and out. Slide your hands up to your hips. As you breathe in, lift your head and chest up to about hip height and then bend your knees. Drop your hips down roll the shoulders back this is a form of chair pose so we just are keeping the arms down lean some weight into the heels try to put the weight evenly in both feet so that you're centering your weight feel your feet on the ground your legs might be starting to burn at this point and then push into your feet evenly and rock it up to standing exhale drop your hands take a breath in Find that plumb line, that metaphor really for being centered and stable in yourself. And then inhale the arms overhead. Again, we're going to exhale, open the arms, long spine, fold forward. At a certain point, the spine has to round, so just let that happen. And again, take the hands down. Take an inhale, this time push into your shins, lengthen your spine, and feel that column, that central channel of your energy extending out from hips to head. Now, when you exhale, you're going to step back with your left foot and put your hands, try not to crush the bushes, <laughs> put your hands on your right knee. Stay looking down towards your right toes and picture this long line of energy from your left heel, which is up, all the way through the crown of your head. Take one more breath there, just finding stability, finding your middle, your center. And you're going to draw your tail down, lift your low belly up, drop your hands by your sides, and bring your head up above your pelvis. As you breathe in, take the arms overhead into crescent lunge. Take three breaths. And just try to watch them in your mind's eye from start to finish so you're present and aware of your inner world. And we're going to twist. You're going to take your left hand to the ground and your right hand to the sky. Draw your right hip down, tuck it under, pull your belly back, turn your head, and look either out or up. If that's too destabilizing, if it takes you out of center too much, just look down. Meet your own needs. Untwist, step forward, left foot next to right, forward fold, exhaling to take the head deeper in. Bend the knees, hands to hips, chair pose modified with the hands down, hold for three, two, one. Push down, stand up, drop your hands and take that pause in mountain pose, Tadasana. It's the ultimate pose of just standing your center, standing your ground. 
and we'll do the other side now. So inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Let that breath finish, don't rush yourself. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. That just means lift up with the spine, pushing into the shins. And now step your right leg back into a lunge with your hands on your left knee. Right now, we're looking down and creating a nice, uh, it's a diagonal line from the plane of the earth, from the right heel through the crown of the head. So try to make that, that line long and straight in your mind's eye. This is also your opportunity to stabilize yourself. A lot of times the mind goes out and is scattered and busy. And really this idea of being centered is being able to stay, uh, not necessarily focused, but present with whatever's happening. Okay, draw the tail down, lift the low belly up and drop the hands by the side. And I just make that distinction of focusing like, you don't always have to laser beam focus on one thing. Sometimes the mind does move from one thing to another, but it's staying present and paying attention. Take your arms overhead if you haven't already. Crescent lunge. So while you're here, it's a cha more challenging pose. You're looking up and out, it's requiring energy, but can you keep just a shred of awareness on what's happening in you, maybe just on one more breath? Now twisting to the left, right hand to the ground. Tuck your left hip down or in. And decide for yourself if it's good for your neck to look up. Or if that throws you out of your center, it's too much, maybe you look down or forward. Either way, let's give it one more breath in. and then turn to face the ground and step the right leg forward. Exhale, fold in. Bend the knees. For this chair pose, take the arms overhead, the more traditional shape. Sit a little deeper. When you stand, just drop your hands. Stay standing. The heart rate will be a little elevated. Notice that as just a way to keep attention in yourself. And then exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.